So I'm doing a video for William Orman, who asked to see what my castle looked like, which of course is a difficult question because I have four versions of the castle. But this is the um, uh, most built up version of the castle. So we're here with Rebecca approaching Fort Independence. Naturally, the northern approach is well covered with uh, missile turrets and heavy laser turrets. I think that thing was always there and I never did anything with it. So, hey, somebody's trying to get into the castle. Can't have that, so shotgun. And, in addition, this is a specialty door. Yeah, that's, I could close the door, uh, well, let's see, yeah, is getting power. I could force the door to stay open manually if I wanted to. Um, but this line runs over to here, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I've done the, shown this up in another video, so I'll just do a quick run through of the castle armory. We've got windows where you can inter interact with the merchants. And of course, you can see through the window and see all kinds of weapons and armor on display. Up here on the walls, we've got this gap filled back in. This gap filled back in. Plenty of missile machine gun and laser turrets covering the southern approach. Got some Farming up here on the walls, on the sides, facing away from most of the stuff. Hey, it's the castle, the um, uh, island out there. That's Codsworth. That thing's mostly for show now. There's plenty more power installed on this place. And we'll just go down this staircase again and do a quick walkthrough of the interior. So we have a break room down here, which is, eh, it needs work. I have some ideas for that that I'll have to implement at some point. Probably have to do something better with this space, a couple of places for people to sleep. Uh, my medic station currently, Cur Curie is my medic when she's not traveling with me. General's quarters, place to work on power armor, the weapons ready to hand if something happens in the middle of the night. Some more sleeping space, somewhere to put a merchant at some point, another place to put a merchant at some point. More sleeping spaces. Uh, some sleeping space, I might make this into more of a break room at some point though. Here's the real power supply. I really don't think I need both of those, but they're there. So back to this mechanism here. We have the XOR gate, which I've discussed before. It's got power from the main power supply and an additional power input from the siren. Uh, yeah. So when the siren goes off, it becomes, both leads get power, which means it stops transmitting power, which means it closes this door. Thanks to this underground cable, it now also closes that door. And of course, it launches a emergency flare to summon more help. Uh, I don't have any kind of system really rigged on this door, but it does come up through here, go up to the top of the wall, and run over to a pitching machine which will drop a mine on the path out here. I wish that would despawn. Likewise, you can see the pitching machine just over the wall up there. So it would in fact drop a mine on the other side of that, though it would not be a big deal since this would be closed and presumably the enemies would no longer be trying to get in that way. So. 
William, this is what I have done with Fort Independence. And you know what? You don't have any videos up. I think you're overdue for one. You should show us what your fort looks like. Everyone, have fun playing the game. Thank you.